I know, I know that 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 that's what I'm saying, right? That's what I'm saying. Despite the fact of the exponential growth in prices of other basic necessities and resources, um, bananas are really really good value for money. I was saying this to my my kids the other day. I was uh, I was uh, shopping and uh, I was looking at the the prices of the food, and I was like, I can get five or six, I get like six bananas for a pound. Yeah. And, and I was comparing for one pound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get six bananas for one pound. And um, that's, I was, just, I was just thinking, that's really good value for money to get six. Because if I, here, if I wanted to buy six apples, it would cost me mm -hmm. two pounds. Right. Yeah. Well, no, I did. If I look at um, what I buy, and um, I'm always looking at what what you can buy versus what you can get from what you can buy, and the in in terms of energy and health and all the things related to uh, mm -hmm. you know food and how we look after our body, um, I would have to say that the um, statistically the 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 best thing to buy, I think, is bananas. I think it's crazy, but uh, to, compared to the amount of energy you get from the food, of course, it depends on the quality of the food as mm -hmm. well. Um, and uh, maybe you want to buy things that are local rather than things that are imported, because obviously bananas are not mm -hmm. Scottish. <laughs> you know, we, we don't have any banana plants. Um, and but I would I was thinking about the, the price and I was thinking like if these if these are coming from another country and they've been harvested and then exported and imported and transported yeah. and everything else related to that and it comes to the shelf of the small local supermarket here and I can buy that for one pound I was I was thinking about the logistics involved and I was like how do they do that for one pound. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how do they grow and harvest and export and import and transport and market and distribute? And they still only are able to charge a pound for that. Because I could I could very easily see in the modern market, you know, them it, it being twice as much or three times as much yeah. as, as it actually is. And then I started to wonder if it's sponsored or sustained or you know it did like yeah well i mean obviously it's a big and complex market but um you know that we talked before about the average price of certain products food products you know the, the exponential growth like in it costing 30 percent to 50 percent more for some products in the last two to three years um yeah, everyone's got a budget for food, right? And they can see how much money they've got to spend and what they can get as a result of that. Yeah, that reflects back to what bigger companies have to deal with, which is we'd rather we'd rather increase prices gradually than have a massive jump for no reason and, and sh shock you at some point in time. It's also it's a really complex issue but the idea that you have independent businesses saying that we can't survive if we don't have sponsorship is yeah. Yeah. is rather odd and a f both a failure of the business and a failure on the market mm -hmm. because if anybody thinks that Government subsidizing the price of bread is going to lower mm. the cost of the bread. Then they're completely wrong because it will just rise the invisible costs for the so-called taxpayer, right? Mm. It will just rise taxes in other areas because you, you know, it. it you have to take something from somewhere to put it somewhere. Mm. <laughs> you know, you're not you're not just magically creating something out of nothing. You have you have to, you know, you you have to have something in order to give something, and 
government is not a creator, government is a consumer. So um, the idea that government has to sponsor that industry means that government then regulates that ind industry and government then owns that industry as a result. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it did, bread is, and, and, and it's because it's, because <laughs> we're all so fucking busy at work, we don't have time to um, cook or make bread or yeah, exactly. involve ourselves in any of these. You know, we've we've got barely enough time to. The average person has barely enough time to finish their work and pick up their kids from school and get to the supermarket and fill up their shopping trolley and get through the supermarket and get out of the supermarket and get in their car and get back home and put everything in the fridge or the freezer and ugh, collapse exhausted on the couch, right? While they're, they still have to make dinner and they still got their own personal interests to take care of and, and <laughs> they need to play with their kids and talk to their partners and solve their family stuff and repair everything that's broken. <laughs> take the car to the garage and paint the walls and do all the stuff that they 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 want to they want to they want, they want to do and uh and the world is 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 mad as a result of uh trying to accomplish all these tasks and not having time but yeah i was thinking about because I, I was also thinking about that the other day because i think about odd stuff like um i was because i made some bread because I, I hadn't done that in in years and i was like i'm gonna do something that i haven't done in years and mm -hmm. I was like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make some bread and so i and it was you know it, it, it's nice to bake and make these things at home whether it's a cake if you have those skills i'm not very good at that but um you know i did that um uh, it's a nice thing to do and uh, um and so I, I made some bread and then after i made the bread I calculated the cost that it cost me to make the bread. And I was like, like I've made bread for myself and my family and it cost me about 20, 20 pence you mm -hmm. know, to make the bread mm -hmm. as the food for the family. And I was like, if I went and bought this in a shop, right, this would cost me three or four pounds. So I'm like, this is, this is, <laughs> yeah. so, so, so what what kind of thousands of percent higher that is i'm not quite sure but um um so we're we're all so busy working that with the only way to survive within the economy is to buy the food that we need because we don't have we don't have gardens and we don't have can't pull the apples from the trees and stuff um and uh it's really crazy in this modern economy that to make your own bread costs almost costs relatively almost nothing compared to buying your bread and it's healthier but no <coughs> one's got, but no one's got the time no one's, yeah. no, no one's got the time to bake and make their own bread which would seem to be the obvious solution and uh, and that that's kind of crazy also if like like if you make a cake at home compared to buying a cake i don't know why i'm thinking about cakes but um you know that's just like, just because I, I think i saw like the price if somebody wants to buy a cake and it's just and i was like that's i was like that's really expensive to buy a cake <laughs> you know, if, you, if you make one at least you know what ingredients go into it and everything and um and so yeah i was i was talking with my I was making bread and talking with my kids about it and, and talking about budgeting and um, and the relative prices of things. Um, I'm like, I'm like, well, if you, if all you guys want to go, if you guys all want to go for ice cream, the ice cream costs this much or, and you will eat it and it will be gone in five minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and you'll have a smile on your face, but it will be gone. And, well, what is the greater benefit of that? Well, it's like a, it's it's an experience and it's a fun thing to do. And okay, that's cool. Um, but you can take that and apply that in a different way and maybe say that um, 
the same amount of money that you could spend on ice cream might feed you for a week. <laughs> so um, it's just interesting the the relative uh, elements and, and prices of those things. Anyway, I was I was just thinking on the other day that I was like bananas. Bananas are bananas are a really good value for money. That's a really good. Mm -hmm. That's a really good deal uh, in terms of in, in terms of health. Um, and it's getting harder and harder to find um, good solutions and deals related to food and basic essentials. You know, what are the things that people need to buy and pay for? Um, energy, food, clothes, transportation, uh, um, all, all the basics becoming far more, far more expensive, uh, especially as... Uh, gas pipelines mysteriously explode for no reason at all <laughs> uh, in Europe. So there we go. Um, 